Yes, I've got to praise God. Praise God. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I am so elated to be joining you once again. Snack time with Dr. Bell. Yes, yes, yes. We are so honored. And it's such a privilege to be joining you again. We might be joining you in your home. You might be on your job. You might just be riding down the road in your car. Or maybe you're just going to be watching this sermon, praise God, later on. But we thank the Lord that you will take out your precious time to watch us, praise God. And we just thank the Lord for this great man of God, Dr. Bell. We're asking you to continue lifting him in prayer. I just thank the Lord for God is doing great and mighty things for us in our lives. And I just thank the Lord for you, praise God. It is such an honor. And I just thank the Lord to just be with you. And I just thank the Lord. He resides at 3505 Avenue F and Inslee. And I just thank the Lord. I am his wife, Co-Pastor Bell, a.k.a. as Nurse Bell. I just thank the Lord for how, yes, we love expounding on the word of God, encouraging God's people to just hold on and those that haven't come into this fold to get ready to come on and join us, praise God, and eat lavishly until the Lord comes to take you home. Yes, and I just thank the Lord for how that we love to preach by precept and example, and I just thank the Lord for how that you never know None of us can tell when and where God is going to send us on another mission. And I just thank the Lord for knowing, yes, I just thank the Lord for knowing that Jesus did what nobody else could do. And I just thank the Lord for knowing that, yes, we give honor to all the licensed power. Yes, yes, yes. We thank the Lord for all the saints of God. We thank the Lord for the children. We thank the Lord for Facebook, our friends. We thank the Lord for our precious sheep's Bible way. We love you dearly. We thank God for you. I thank the Lord for him saving me, sanctifying me, and filling me with his precious gift of the Holy Ghost. And I just thank the Lord that I have a mind to run on and see what the end is going to be. Because I know truly in my heart, my heart register every time I wake up in the morning that I have a mind to just go on with the God. And I'm not turning back. Because Jesus did for me what nobody else could do. He's the one that died on that cross. He's the one that set me free. He's the one that told me to just go on and never look back. And I thank God for him choosing Dr. Bell and I to be such witnesses in times like these. And like I was saying, praise God, my heart is just rejoicing as God began to send us on another mission to let our light shine to the world. I thank the Lord, you know, being a witness to the black and all different races and colors. And how many know God does that? Can't nobody do it like Jesus. And I just thank the Lord for knowing that what makes my heart so uh, elated, so overjoyed is because when we begin to start out on our mission, God gave us the perfect scripture. And I just thank the Lord. I just looked up and and, my, and the blessings just began to just flow on me. And I said, who wouldn't serve a God like this to just encourage you? And I just want to say to someone, praise God, you might have a sickness in your body. You might be going through something in your life, praise God. But I just want to tell you, it's the right time. God picked the right time when he want to use you. Hey, glory to God. Hey, thank you, Jesus. And I want to just encourage your heart. Don't be dismayed. God can use you in the sickness and whatever you're going through with. Because how many know our old patriots, I thank God for them. 
And I thank God for how that I didn't just sit and let the water run on my, the word of God run on my word on my back like a duck, the water on his back running off. I just thank the Lord for knowing that I kept what they were saying. That's why I'm so excited and I can hold on. Because during the time now when Dr. Baird is going through, we get a chance to go to the hospital when he's taking his treatments. And I thank God for knowing that we get a chance to witness to so many people because this world is hurting. And I just thank the Lord for knowing that it needs a savior. So I thank God for how that he sent us on another part of our documentary that we can say and be able to tell our story of. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. That God may be glorified. And I thank the Lord, yes, yes, yes. Every time I went through sickness, every time my husband has went through sickness, I just thank the Lord for knowing that it was for the glory and the presence and for somebody else to know that Jesus is still a healer. And that, hey, yes, glory, there's still a healing ball. Yes, God never runs out of healing. So I just thank the Lord, and as we begin to just be there on our mission, I thank the Lord that this time we began to witness and to all to marry people and those that wasn't married. And I thank the Lord that those that have been on the Lord's side and went off and, and praise God, those that are just beginning to join, to come over, over here where the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is sure enough going on. I thank the Lord for knowing that even in his sickness, even in my sickness when I was going through, we still had a mind to lift our heads until the hill from with coming out help. And I just thank the Lord for knowing that the nurses and things began to say, how many, how, how many years have you all been married? My husband began to share 43 years and I just thank the Lord for how the nurse began to look at me and she began to say, you don't see that now. You know, you don't see nobody being married almost 44 years to one man. But I just think, hey, hey, glory to God. But I thank God for knowing that not only have I been married the 43 years to a natural man, hey, glory to God, but I'm here to testify that I've been married 43 years going on 44 to the spiritual man also. Hey! Glory! Hey, thank you, Jesus. So I'm just, you just don't have to bear with me because my soul, my soul is happy. And I feel like telling this word of God because the world needs to hear this word. Because God is a savior. And I thank the Lord for knowing that, yes, he's still saving. Yes, he's still sanctified. And yes, he's still. He's still. He's still. He's still. He's still. He's still. Fill it with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Hey, if you believe, if you believe, if you believe, yeah, glory to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. But I just thank the Lord. And then what I love about God is when you leave off of your mission, praise God, praise God, hallelujah. You know, God was letting us know on the first beginning of our mission, he said, continue on your mission. He said, continue to be strong. Hey, even though somebody has gotten together, even though somebody is mad. You know, that's the scripture that came on the intercom. Talked about Nehemiah when we got there. But I just thank the Lord for knowing that we are still on our mission. We won't come out the wall because we're doing a mighty great work. We thank God for you precious babes out there that have been listening to the word of God. We thank you for how you're praying for us. We thank the Lord for all of you that's praying for us. Like I was saying, praise God, when we begin to leave off our mission, we begin to walk up in the store. God, God had an angel, an angel right there waiting. Turn around, never saw that lady. 
a day in our life. But she turned around, looked at Dr. Bell and I, and told us, I love you, I love you. I've been praying for you. I thank the Lord for knowing God, God, my God. God got angels stationed all around, praying for his people while they're on their job, doing the work of the Lord. I said, Lord, send me. I'll go, I'll go where you want me to go. i say what you want me to say. I'll do what you want me to do. My soul, my soul is happy and I'm free. I thank the Lord for knowing. I want you to have a mind to come on over where the table is spread and the feast of the Lord. A feast, a feast of the Lord is going on in the word of God. We thank God. But I would that you would pray for me. But I'm feeling good in my sanctified soul because I thank God for knowing that he has picked this time that Dr. Bell and I can let our light shine to let the world know that God, God is still on the throne. Hey, glory, hey, my heart is just happy. Hey, because when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, all my soul, my very soul, my very soul cries out. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I praise God for saving me and picking me out and choosing Dr. Bell and I to be a part of his kingdom work, building in his righteousness. Yeah! Yeah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hey. My soul is mighty happy. But I thank God for being back with you with part 20. Because of God. I didn't say the world. I didn't say man. I didn't say woman. But I said because of God. Amazing love. His desire is that none will perish. And I just thank the Lord for knowing that the scripture, my main scripture comes from Hebrews 10 and 5. The word of God says, wherefore, when he cometh into the world, who you talking about, Nurse Bell? I'm talking about this man named Jesus. Jesus was on a mission came into this world, he said, sacrifice, sacrifice and offering, thou willest not, but a body, a body has thou prepared for me. He's given recognition to his father, that's God. He knew that God placed him on this earth in that natural body to do a great work for him. Then the word let me know greater works, greater works that we can do. I thank God for knowing Dr. Bell and those that helped us. We give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor that we can say we paid off the church in full. Bible Way House of Prayer Incorporated. As I stand, snack time, noon, with Dr. Bell, we grateful, we thankful that God keeps all his promises. He told us, if you don't pollute the house, I praise God, Dr. Bell didn't pollute the house of God. Minister Bell didn't pollute her house because we're together. We're one because he didn't do it. I didn't do it. God kept his promise. He paid off the Bible Way House of Prayer Incorporated in full. Zero, zero, zero. Now God is telling the man of God, I want you 
to build the life center for the Bible way for people when they get in the golden years they'll be able to come people won't be treating them all kind of way but they're gonna treat them with the love with the dignity hey 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 the dignity hey glory hallelujah glory with the dignity that they deserve the man of god he's gonna do it we got people that are already stationed praying that this come to pass all over the world god is letting us come in contact with them because when god give a man of god a vision he already got provision to get done what he want to get done because he's not gonna let the word of god fall because he said it continue to pray for us and lift us up we thank god we know that i left off with encouraging you that now right now it's the time to hold on to god with everything you have and not not turn back you see my friend it's a dangerous thing to sit and hear the word of god and only come up with an overshadow the overshadow won't hold out just when you're not thinking satan slips in and changes the taste and craving for the things that you never gave up satan is on a mission just like god is on a mission his mission is to get people to look back into the world go back in the sin and pick up the things that they gave up that they didn't finish doing hey 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 sin will start to call and the flesh will begin to answer that call i say to the new babies that are listening run 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 for your life don't reject the word of god but accept the whole truth so that you will behold a new in christ so the flesh cannot take control because a little a little just a little living will eventually live in the whole the whole the whole lump that's what's happening in the world a little living has come when you take off a little living it's gonna keep rising rising the more and the more don't you see my friend sin sin is rising more and more in the individual mind causing them to throw away this precious gift that god has given turning around walking back accepting the gifts of satan wants to feel respect and conscience for god is lost everything is gone i'm reminded of this post you you are human you are broken yet you are chosen i think i read it again you are human you are broken yet i hear god saying but i chose you i tell you praise god this is why i am here god told me to tell you he has need of you in his kingdom precious heart don't get caught up in the foolishness the foolishness of this world wanting you to believe that my god my god is a powerless god hey 
hey, I come to serve notice right now. My God, my God, it's a powerful God. How do you know, praise God? Because I tried him and I know he's all right. I tried him and I know he's all right. God is powerful and I thank the Lord. Don't believe these false teachers wanting you to desire the adulterated word meaning to debase, low in rank, false or dignity, low in rank or dignity. Don't you see, my friend, there is, there is, there is. There is no morals, anything goes. I thank the Lord, they want you to believe this adulterated gospel. Hey, 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 hey. They're trying to make God's word impure by adding inferior to it. Trying with everything they have to make this gospel be less important, less valuable, or less worthy. But I come, I come, I come, I come. 43 years ago, the word, the word was important. Hey, hey, 43 years ago, I heard the word of God, the word, it's valuable, valuable today. 43 years ago, God was, it was worthy. God, he was worthy. Jesus, he was worthy. Because I love, I love, I love, I love, I love that song. Say, worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lamb. I know that God, he's worthy. I know that Jesus, he's worthy. I don't care how the world trying to make you think you can't be saved. I don't care how the world is trying to make you think that gospel of Jesus Christ cannot save, cannot deliver, cannot set free. God is a good God. God, his word stands for sure. You can't change it. You can't add to it. The only thing that we can do is tell it, tell it like it is. In other words, it doesn't matter what the word is saying. I don't care what God wants or what his word say. Just do, do you. Facebook, I have something else greater to offer, which is the un, 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 adulterated word of God. Hey, hey, which means it's not diluted. I come, co pastor, aka Nurse Bell, to let you know. I'm coming with the word of God, not diluting it. Hey, hey, but I'm coming with the word of God, just like it's written. Because, praise God, I don't want to waste my time coming to you, trying to reduce its strength. Because God's word, it got strength if you believe it. God's word brought me out of darkness over in the marvelous light. I didn't come, I didn't come to dilute the word of God to make you think that the word, the word is weak. That's what the world, the world is doing. Catching everybody with itching ears. Want you to do what you want to do. Want you to say what you want to say. Then want you to proclaim out of that same mouth that God, God, God is 
your personal Savior. If God is your personal Savior, you are doing 24 7 what the Word of God is saying. Do you see, my friend, the world, the devil, just fall? Won't you to fall victim to his praise? It encourages sin. The world encourages sin. It pats you on the back and wants you to say, it's okay, God, understand. You can just sow your oats. You can lay down with Dick, Tom, and Harry. Get up with Bob, Jim, and Mary. But I'm saved, I'm saved. That's what the world is coming to. No morals, no dignity. But I come, I come. Snack time with Dr. Bell to let you know you can live this life. Even though the world wants you to think you are weak for the rest of your life to make it plain and helpless. I come to let you know Jesus died so that everyone, everyone that believes in him could have help. I come to let you know the only reason People are doing what they're doing. It's because they're not a believer and they don't hate. Hey! 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 Glory! Hey! The only reason. Hey! They didn't believe. And they made it. Hey! In their mind. That they don't want help. Because God is a powerful God. And God will get you out of anything that you want to get out of. Because if you did, be risen with Christ. Think. See, you got to think on things above. You can't look down and we in this world of mess. God didn't want us to be in this world of mess. Because he said, you in the world, but my God, you don't have to be a part of all the connections what the world is doing. But he said, Jesus died so that everyone that believe, don't get mad with me because you don't want to be a believer, and I believe. Because God does not have no respect of person. God does not love me no more than he loved you. All you got to do is believe you can change too. See, they spoke the word of God to me, and I became a believer. You're going to be running. See, people are caught up in this friendship thing. Whatever my friend do, that's what I'm going to do. But I found a friend stay closer than a brother. And I said to myself one day, I walked away from my sin. One day, oh yeah, I walked away from my sins. One day, oh yeah, I was looking for my Savior, and I found him for myself. You better find me. You better find me for yourself. Because when God come back, he's not coming back to judge you, your mom, your dad, your father, your sister, your brother. He's coming to judge you. It's personal. But I just think the Lord Jesus died. So everyone that believes in him could have help, strength, and power. But, you know, he's not going to twist your arm. If you want to continue to think that you're powerless, if you want to continue to think that God doesn't have strength, that he's weak. But I heard the word of God say my arms are not too short. See, ain't nothing wrong with God. But the question is, do you want to believe? Because precious heart, I think I need a little help. Let me see. Um, who I can call to testify. 
I believe if you would go with me to 2 Peter 2, 20 through 22, let me take my time to see what it says. It reads as follows. Jesus replied, a man that plows a field must continue to look straight in front of him if he looks behind, behind, behind. He cannot plow well. How are you plowing? Are you looking back? Are you plowing well? Looking forward. People that look back, look back, look back, look back. Behind them cannot work well for the kingdom of God. I say read as a bonus scripture to Peter at your liberty time. And I just thank the Lord for knowing. Read it, praise God. And I just thank the Lord for knowing. I read to you Luke, praise God, not 2 Peter. I read to you Luke 9. That's who I called on the witness stand. Luke 9. 6. Luke 9 and 62. It's what I read to you. A man, Jesus replied, a man that plows a field must continue to look straight in front of him. If he looks behind him, he cannot plow well. People that look behind, don't look back because you won't be able to work well. That's why I can't look back. Dr. Bell and I have made up our minds. We can't look back because it's too dark behind us. And I just thank the Lord, like I was saying, my correction is at your liberal time. I want you to read this scripture because this is what's happening to the world today. And my bonus scripture to you to read will be 2 Peter 2, 20 through 22. At your liberal time because this explains more in detail what is going on in the face, on the face of the earth today in this world. So, precious heart, I, Co-Pastor Bell, enjoy talking with you, speaking with you from the Word of God, what God has given me to bring to you. My desire is that God will continue to look on our babes that have joined in with us on this mission, praise God, and God has touched your heart in this word, and I just thank the Lord, we're praying for you, Dr. Bell and I, and we thank God, I just wanna share with you, you can make it. Those of you, praise God, that has tuned in with us, praise God, I pray that you will continue to go as you go on your job, that you will continue to feel the Spirit of God with you to encourage you through the rest of this day, not only this day, but I just thank the Lord, and maybe someone out there, praise God, that are going through something in your body. I want to encourage you, precious. We're praying for you. You might not see us. We might not be in your presence, but you're in our heart. You're in our mind. We're praying for you because we love the body of Christ. And we're only here to encourage our brother and brothers and sisters and continue to show them love. And as I go off, praise God, I want you to continue to pray for all the pastors. That's what God has given me as a pillar. 43 years ago, that's one of my jobs that God has given me to pray for the church, pray for his leader, and pray for the body of Christ as a whole. And I love to get on my knees. I don't mind crying out to the Lord. And I don't mind dying out of more of me so that God can use me more and more. And I know that the more I die out, the greater God will come on the inside. So I praise God as I get ready to leave. I want you to stay safe, precious heart. There is a place. And as you listen to this song, God has let me know, praise God, there is a place for all of us. And like I said, Dr. Bell and I added some more to our documentary. And I just thank the Lord for how that he is letting us see as time goes on, we understand by and by. 
the mission and the things of God. I want you to stay watchful. Yes. I want you to stay prayerful. I want you, precious heart, to stay strong. Yes. Because you know, I found out that you can stay strong and you can be as strong as you want to be if you believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I've learned, praise God, over these 43 years that if you hold on to the scripture and you apply them to your life daily, just like that's your daily bread, you eat daily, that's your spiritual bread. The word is, and you'll be strong and you'll be equipped to run this race. And I just thank the Lord. If you do that, if you eat the bread, guess what? If you eat natural bread, you can live. If you eat spiritual bread, I say to you, live. Until next time, I love you. See you next time. Yes. I belong here. I know my place. It's a good place to be. Thank you, God, for choosing me and Dr. Bell for such a time as this. See you next time, precious. Love you. You ain't going nowhere. For somebody like you to love somebody like me. For somebody like you. Just to include me You could have left me out But you wouldn't have it that way Ooh, when, when, when I stepped out of the line Your love stepped in my place Said I belong here I want to stay here forever for you.